In this video, let's see the difference between unconditional and the conditional variance. If you see the formula, the only difference of the conditional variance that you are conditioned to x. Here, we calculate the variation y without using any information about x. Let's see the formula of the unconditional variance. Inside is the deviation around the mean. Expect value of y is the mean of y. Then, we square the deviations and y. If you don't square the deviations, the deviations will sum up equals zero. And see the expect value outside. What you are doing is taking the mean of the deviations. Let's square the inside term. And here is the result. See that you keep the expectation outside. We square the first term. Minus 2 times the first term times the second term. And then we square the second term. Now, let's take the expectation of all terms. And here is the result. We take the expectation of the first term. We take the expectation of y. And we treat the expectation of y as a constant. In the third term, see that the expectation of a constant is a constant. That means nothing changed here. Note that we can compress these two terms. Expectation of y times expectation of y is the expectation of y power 2. Let's simplify these two terms. Here is another way of writing the formula for the variance. This formula here is intuitive. You get what is variance. That is the deviation around the mean, and then you square and take the mean again. That means just a measure of, of variation. Here, there is no great intuition. But why this formula is so useful? Quite often, we normalize the mean of a random variable to zero. Then, this term vanishes. The consequence is that you can write the variance in a compact way. You can see the square of random variable y if you put zero in the expect value of y. Even if this term is not zero, it's easy to compute this formula here, then the formula with the deviations. Now, let's write the formula of the conditional variance. The only difference is that you conditional to x. See the x here. The square of deviations is exactly what you see in the formula of unconditional variance. Let's write this formula here in a compact way. See that I'm not going to derive this formula here, because the only difference in this formula here is the x, conditional to x. And see again here, conditional to x. This formula here, it's exactly this formula here, but conditional to x. What you learn here, it's important to understand regression, because in the regression, everything is conditional to x, these variables.